The nature of today's performance nanometer chips is that there is a massive discontinuity between ideal mode timing before you've got a clock tree and propagated mode timing after you have a clock tree. The insertion delay in the clock tree can be two or maybe three times the cycle time of the chip. And this is due to deep clock gating structures, complex generators, and macros with a lot of insertion delay inside them. If you combine this with OCVD rates that could be 15 or 20 percent or even AOCV and SOCV means it's impossible to predict the timing of the chip before you've inserted a clock tree. This leads to a chicken and egg problem in that if you don't have a clock tree you can't predict the timing but you can't build your clock tree without predicting the timing. So it's important to build clocks and have logic optimization and useful SKU all in a single engine. This is what the Innovus implementation system gives you, a next generation clock concurrent optimization engine. It merges physical optimization with clock tree synthesis. The engine understands fences, understands halos, multi-corner constraints, power domains, electron migration and frequency dependent max cap constraints. It has good routing correlation and any routing correlation problems you do have can be fixed with a strong PRO engine. Only by having a unified engine can you make the right decisions at the right time and deliver a significant PPA delta over existing flows. It's long been known that H3 structures in the clock can deliver substantive benefits over more ad hoc clock distribution structures. Processor companies have been using this approach for over 20 years. They deliver a regular structure which is good for cross-corner scaling performance. On modern SOCs that have to operate at 0.9 volts and then down to near threshold, small imbalances in the gate and wire delay can lead to huge skews, which then give you hole violations and time enclosure problems. The problem with a naive H3 implementation is that you have to have a power of two sinks and it has to have an unblocked rectangular region to put it in. It doesn't consider physical hierarchy, it doesn't consider module boundaries. So the holy grail would be to have some way of delivering the same benefits of an H3 on any floor plan. The same horizontal wire length, same vertical wire length, same buffers in the same order on every path from the root to any sink. It may not be possible to give a perfect balance, but if you could get 95% of the sinks balanced, that would give you 95% lower hold pain. Innovus implementation system includes a flexible H3 feature. It has an advanced heuristic search which trades off millions of structures to give an intelligent trade off between skew, power, area, insertion delay, avoiding blockages such as macros and parallels, and sticking to partition and module boundaries. It also clones logic, auto generating a clock spec for either balancing or for full CCOP. Compared to a normal clock tree, this dramatically improves cross corner scaling. It also improves insertion delay and gives you better hold and setup. Our early customers are telling us that compared to a hand-generated H-Tree, this is saving them months of work, getting them to market faster.